Hey guys, welcome back to some more regular Realm of the Mad God. Playing as our ninja today. As our ninja y ninja. I should get him another white skin so he can be the great white ninja. I think that would be fun. But let's see what we have left to max here. We have a lot. About 20 of everything. 27 attack, 25 death, 21 speed, 29 dex. Uh, so a lot. Uh, maybe not the best roll here, but we'll, uh, let's head over towards this sphinx and hopefully we can get one of our secondary shots in there to hit it because if we can do that then we should be pretty good although looks like we're also on the verge of dying here i missed i missed i'm having one of those days you ever want to have one of those days where when you're playing a video game just absolutely nothing goes right that's been my day today. So we started off playing some Counter-Strike, right? And, oh, I thought I popped into there. It must have closed right when I hit it. So, oh, hello, Le Mr. Leprechaun. So we started off playing some Counter-Strike. Of course, we meaning Gamer Dad and I. Uh, we got placed into a match with, with uh, three other teammates that really, I guess, didn't know what they were doing, I guess, is how I would is what I would say. So, they, uh, they did not play very well. And then I started not playing very well. You know, one of those days where, like, when you're practicing, you hit basically every single shot. But then, when you actually get into the game, you can't hit a, uh, you just can't hit anything. That was, that was my day, which is super fun and definitely not frustrating or horrible or anything. But... But you know what? So we, we ended up losing. It, it was closer than I thought it was going to be towards the end. I think we lost like 12 to 16. So it wasn't horrible. It wasn't like horror bad, right? But it but it was pretty bad. It was a little bit, you know, disconcerting, I guess. But so we decided afterwards to play some Overwatch. We would play some, some um, competitive Overwatch, which we've been having a lot of fun with lately. There we go. Let's not die. That would just make today even better, wouldn't it? So we've been playing some competitive Overwatch, but before we're like, all right, let's 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 play a, a normal Overwatch game just to kind of get back into the groove thing, right? And our, our teammates just did not know what they were doing. Like, they weren't jumping on the points, and for those of you who, who you know, who play or have never played Overwatch? It's a oh hello, it's a strategy game, right? So it's not like a death match where you're just trying to get kills. You're you're trying to jump on points and take objectives and push carts and all this kind of stuff. So we we definitely need some better armor. Let's let's look out for that. And our our teammates were just sitting at the choke point when we were attacking. And oh hello, that is a lot of cubes, and we're not we're not taking the objective at all, which is super frustrating. And Gamer Dad and I ended up doing all right, but our team lost, as as you would imagine from a team that's not playing the the objective. So, but we're like, all right, well, we were doing well. It's just we got matched up with some hobos. So let's let's just hop into a comp game. And the comp game that we matched into was the absolute worst team composition I think I've ever seen. It was awful. We had most of our team were like level 25 to 28-ish. And then everyone on their team was like prestige level 30 and almost prestige and level 60 to 80-ish. So it was, it was just really, really bad. Really bad matchmaking. I wonder if they were all playing together, and that's why it matched us up like that. It's the only thing I can really think of. Otherwise, it should have found better players for us. But, and so our teammates just were not hopping on the point at all. They just, they were not playing the objective, which you you need to play the objective in that game. Otherwise, you just, you just lose. And so I was playing Mercy, which is the healer class. And there we go. And Gamer Dad's like, all right, I'm going to I'm going to pop into a diva and you and I are just going to dive bomb the objective, pull away the team from the from the choke point that they've established and then we will all 
uh, they'll hopefully all follow us. Well, it was Gamer Dad and I. We stayed on the point for a good probably 20 seconds against five of the people on their team in the 6v6. So there's only one other person battling the rest of our entire team, and they didn't go on the objective. They did not move. They didn't. And we, of course, we lost. And it was horrible. We didn't even get the first objective point thing. Is it, it was just the absolute most worthless team I have ever played on. And it's hard to not be salty. And you guys know me. I try. I try not to be salty when I'm playing. It's just not what I do. But I was starting to get a little bit salty there after the first Counter Strike game, where I basically couldn't hit a single shot. It was like. You know those times where the enemy basically takes up your entire screen and you're spraying at them and... Oh, let's get out. No, get out! Oh, man. Ah. Uh, it's just one of those days, man. It's just one of those days. So, I, I apparently started typing there. So, but, alright. So, we need to find a different character to play. Uh, we'll play as our rogue, but we got plenty of other other ones here. I know some people wanted to see Archer and stuff. We'll play as our rogue. Hopefully we won't die there. It's just one of those days I just can't I just can't do anything right. But whenever you're playing team games like Overwatch or or Counter Strike, and you start feeling like there's just nothing you can do, and there's there's your teammate or teammates are awful, and they they're not doing what they're supposed to. It never ever helps to yell at them and i i saw that a lot we had one other guy on our team that was doing all right in counter-strike and he was calling everybody out and telling them that they're awful and stuff the entire game that helps nobody that makes things worse because now instead of you know, like them keeping a good attitude they feel super pressured and they they just can't land their shots and you're adding all this pressure onto people and it's 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 worse than it, that I'd say that is worse than than playing the game and um let's do this that is worse than than losing is when you have somebody on your team that's super salty like that so I'll I'll never I never try to be salty I try and be positive with the the nice shots and the good games and the good halves and all that kind of stuff because you know, there's there's other people on the other side playing that game too, right? And if you're ragging on them the entire time and you're calling them shit and all this stuff, and I I feel fine talking about it afterwards, but during the game I would never do that. So hey, we have a we have a friendly knight here with us to soak up all of the damage for us. Perfect. And hopefully not take all of our all of our stuff. Alright. Let's heal up, because we need it. Ooh! Oh, I forgot we still had the thing active! Excellent. So, yeah, that's, that's much better than what we had. And we got a dexterity potion, which we need. Alright, so apparently we still have that... That bag act or the, the potion active. Which is awesome, let's go kill some more stuff. Let's, let's use it while we can. I'm assuming... I think our last episode was about 20 minutes, so we should have another... Good 10 minutes or so of this. Right? I don't think this guy is fooled. Maybe he is. Oh, hello, lag. Oh, did you see that prime dodging skills there? Where was that prime dodging skills when I was playing Overwatch and Counter-Strike? Who knows? But anyways, as I was saying earlier, just don't do it. It doesn't help anything. In fact, it makes everything worse. And if you want your team to succeed, then making it worse by calling people out and calling them bad and all this stuff is the exact opposite, right? Because they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna start recessing into their brain, right? Like, they're gonna go to their happy place and they're not gonna play right. So, don't, it, it doesn't help. In fact, it doesn't even help for you to be salty, right? I mean, oh... Rest in peace. I, I'm pretty sure he killed himself, though. So I don't really care. So, it, it doesn't even... It, it hurts your performance. It hurts your teammates' performances. There's absolutely nothing good that comes out of it. 
I'm pretty sure that most people don't even feel good about ragging on their teammates. I'm sure some people do. I'm sure that's why they do. It makes them feel better. It makes them feel superior. It's like the the people who are bullies in high school or whatever who never amount to anything later in life, right? And they probably have this horrible home life and all this stuff that... Come on. There we go. We got two of the three. There we go. When I said two of the three, it reminded me of that one song from Bob, Bob's Burgers where she's like, I still got three out of five, I still got three out of five, I still got three out of f five of my sexy parts. That one? Yeah. I, I probably butchered that, but then again, she probably does too because she's not that great at singing. The character, I'm sure the, the person playing the character is fine, but... All right. This uh, really does make it easier. Oh, we're, are we still getting our bonus? Ooh, we are out of mana. Is not helpful. Could be playing better. Oh, dear God, that hurt a lot. Okay. I feel like the lag has been a little bit high today. There we go. Okay, yeah, I don't think I don't think we're getting our our potions anymore. It must have been. Okay, let's get out of there. Like right now. Like right meow. Right meow. Hello. Are, are we? No, we're still getting them. Okay. Well, I kind of feel like the, uh, the roll on that ninja really wasn't that great anyways. I feel bad about dying and it's just, it's just one of those days, you know? It's karma or something, I don't know. But... Um, you know what? That's all right. It happens. Let's get out of here before we die on this character as well. That would be awful. So, probably going to stick to a 15-minute video today. Uh, apparently not doing well. So, let's, uh, let's not, let's not risk this character too much if we don't have to. Uh, yeah, we'll go into Ogre. I'm an Ogre! All right. Hey, yay, uh. Yay, red bags! Are you all alone? Cause I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My troubles have all gone. Let's get these guys. Get them! Get them! Yeah. And Gamer Dad, he doesn't get salty too often either. He was, he was a good sport. Actually, he was a beast with the Mag 7. Which is a shotgun if you don't if you don't play Counter Strike. He is a beast. Like we were playing Dust 2, right? And he was holding he locked down uh catwalk with that. I think he got an ace, actually. If not, he got a 4K. Wow. That guy is very, very dark. That is not racist, I promise. So So yeah, but I think the important part is to just remember that you're playing a game. And we play games to have fun. We don't play games to rage. I'm sure some people do. But, oh, there's a lot of these constructs around here. And so if you're not having fun, then, then why are you playing? Right? If you're not having fun, then why play? And you can't let your performance or lack of a performance get to you because it's going to make it worse. And then you're not going to be having fun. And then why are you even playing? Right? I, th I ask myself that sometimes when I see these people who rage about everything and nothing is right and everybody's awful and all this stuff. It's like, why are you playing this game? If this is the reaction you get, if this is how much fun that you are getting playing this game... Okay, let's get out of here. Then why are you playing, you know? You just can't let it get to you. I, I've seen a lot of people who are like, Man, you just died on your ninja that you, you just spent a lot of time playing and all this stuff. And man, you bar barely had a reaction at all and all this stuff. And I'm sure people say that in this video because we did die on our ninja, right? But at the end of the day, are you having fun, right? Because I, I, I don't consider myself somebody who... Uh, 
Yeah, let's teleport over here. I don't consider myself somebody who reviews games, right? I like playing them, I like doing first impressions type stuff with them, and kind of show you guys the game and show it off and that kind of stuff. I don't consider those reviews, because, quite honestly, they're not up to the standard for a lot of what I would consider a review, right? And so... There we go. We did not get anything. That's odd, but okay. We must not be ha we must not have a high damage output yet. So um but when I'm playing games, I'm playing to record, I'm playing to have fun. And if I'm if I'm doing both of those things great, um you know, that's that's why I do it. And a lot of the, okay, the reason I I said something about uh, not being a reviewer is because whenever I'm playing a game, I try and find the good stuff about it, right? There's always good and there's always fun stuff about a lot of games. I'm sure there's some really, really horrible, awful games out there. But I try and be positive about it, right? Because ultimately, you're you're playing the game to have fun, right? And that's why I don't consider myself a good reviewer. I'm trying to work on that, right? Because not everything about gaming is positive, right? There's there's negative stuff about games and and some games that are super negative that everybody hates they have good stuff about them probably you know and you gotta just find those things and at the end of the day whenever I'm playing games I always have to ask myself am I having fun with this game if I'm not having fun with it then why record it why play it right let's see what we got a scepter oh that's that's the world. That's the world telling us that we have to play a sorcerer next. What are we playing next, by the way? We have a lot of slots. We could play a lot of other stuff. We don't have to just play a rogue, right? Let me know. Let me know what you guys want to want to see. But anyways, that's why I try not to to let deaths and stuff in games like this get to me. Cuz yes, it's sad. Yes, I do feel sad or mad or bad about it. But feeling those emotions and letting it influence the way I play the games isn't going to make me better at the game. It's it's gonna make me worse at the game, right? So so why why let it get to you, right? Why why let it get to you? I don't know. That guy almost got me killed, but not really. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, the official kind of when Deca Games takes over is Tuesday the nineteenth. I will use that. Thank you very much. And so. I'm assuming that we will have uh, video coverage of that uh, as soon as possible. I can't play during the day because I work, but the next day and all that kind of stuff, I'll hopefully have some video coverage for you guys about all the events and stuff that took place. And I hope that you guys hop on and, and you support them because honestly, this... Oh, okay, Orcs closed the close round. I gotcha. Because honestly, they're they're trying really hard. And it seems like they, they have their head and their heart in the right place. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. And I really hope they don't screw it up. Uh, and I don't think that they will. So, so far, I've been impressed with their communication and their transparency. At least if you read the Realm of the Mad God subreddit and that kind of stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's been good so far. So I hope that we see more of the same. That's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you didn't get too sad at the death. It was just a stupid thing that happened, and stupid things happen sometimes. So, either way, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode.